Sure. So here's this guy who's written the law of running, which says you must eat as much carbohydrate as you possibly can, because that's good for your health and makes you run faster. So December the 12th, 2010, okay. I've just finished writing Waterlog and I send it off to the publishers. And it's, it's a massive tome. The book that was actually published was only 60% of what I sent. The right? other 40%, they said you'll be in jail if we publish this. <laughs> Okay, well, we're glad you're not calling from jail today. <laughs> That's it. So, so I sent the book off and I hadn't run in it. You know, you talked about the frustrations. That had been 30 years and all the frustration I had to deal with. So I was so glad to release it. And then in the middle of the night, I woke up. My brain said, you must go for a run tomorrow morning. And you mustn't stop running because I hadn't been running enough. So I went and I had the worst run of my life. And I moved, there's a little hill outside our house. And I came to the top and I used to be a really good hill runner. And I reached the top. And I felt like I was at the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> My heart rate was through the roof and it was, I was exhausted. So I got home and I said, you know, I'm overweight by about 20 kilograms. I can't run. I'm getting old. How am I going to sort this problem out? Because I, I'm too old to run 100 miles a week. I can't do that to lose weight. Because that's the only way I could ever control my weight. Because I'm insulin resistant, eating a high carb diet, I had to run 90, 100 miles a week. Then I would get to the lightest weight. But at the minute I stopped, my weight would just shoot up. So anyway, I get home and I open my emails and there's an advert for a book. And it just so happens I've got that book right here. <laughs> so, so the book advert says, lose six pounds in six weeks without hunger. This book actually says lose up to 15 pounds in two weeks. But it doesn't say without hunger. When I saw the without hunger, I said, this is ridiculous. You can't lose weight without hunger. I said, who said this? And then I read Eric Westman, Steve Finney, and Jeff Volek. I said, but they're good scientists. How can they say this? This is quackery. This is a disgrace. And who are they linked to? Atkins. He tried to kill us. He told us he's saturated fat. And I spent 33 years trying to get people off their fat. So I say, this is such a disgrace. I'm going to go and read the book. So I drive down, I buy, get by the book, and this is the copy, and I open it, and after three hours, I said, oh my gosh, I got it wrong for 33 years. <laughs> and, and there was a statement in here, and then I went and looked at the, the publications. You know, I see, I've even underlined them, I notice. I've underlined these things. I said, but I don't know any of these studies. How can they be true? And then I realized they were true, because they published here in the Nutrition and Metabolism in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. I said, they, they can't be frauds. They must be telling us right. So I said, okay, three hours, I'm now, that's my last carb. So I converted to the, to the low, low carbohydrate, high fat diet. And within a day, I felt better. And I, instead of losing six pounds in six weeks, I lost 11 pounds in six weeks. And so then, and then within six weeks, my running went back 20 years. Literally, I was running... At 60, I was running as fast as I was at 40. I, it was like a miracle. I mean, it was astonishing. And uh, so, that, so that was, I then realized that there was there's something happening here and that was important. But I didn't tell anyone, but they saw because I'd lost 20 kilograms, 40 pounds weight. They said, what did you do? Have you got cancer? <laughs> that was the question. So I said, no, I haven't got cancer. I'm eating the Atkins diet. The Atkins diet? What are you, mad? You're going to die. You've got arteries, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So eventually I had to write about it. And then I got no. Then my profession went after me. I lost all my funding. And, and then eventually I was charged with tell, tell, selling, telling people to eat a diet that was going to kill them. And so we went through that. Yeah.